happens. Okay, this when is I what happens when I have a Bobby, cat. Bobby, smile at the camera. Bobby, smile at the camera. Bobby. Anything to say to the viewers? Anything? Anything at all? Anything? No? Weird cat you are. Hey guys, it's Chloe here and I apologise for you having to see my really annoying, boring cat. Anyway, in today's video I'm going to be telling you about what happened during the halftime holidays. So I'm going to be telling you guys what happened every day, so let's go! So the first day was Saturday the 13th of February and I I don't really know much of what happened then. I play this game called Geometry Dash and there are loads of levels like you got Story of Madness, Back on Track, Polar Geist, Dry Out, all those and on the um, full version you've got like 20 levels but on the free version you've only got about 10 and I was stuck on the 8th level which is called Time Machine and I was stuck on it for more than 3 weeks and then on the Saturday 13th of February I finally completed it and also I just remembered something I remember I went to my nan's on Saturday and I also went to my nan's yesterday as well weird isn't it Sunday 14th of February Valentine's Day and like every Sunday I stayed in all day and basically, if you saw my video last week, which was about Valentine's Day, you'll be able to see what I do. Yep, I eat breadsticks. I eat loads of breadsticks every single day. So all I do on Sundays is just stay at home, make a YouTube video, watch YouTube, watch anime, stuff like that. Monday the 15th of February. That was a fun day. There's a place that I go to called Chatham, and I went there, and then I spent a little while there. I think I got a McDonald's and I remember hearing a song from the BT advert. I can't remember what it's called but I remember hearing it. And then we went to a place called Dockside and it's really nice there. There is a Cadbury's factory. Chocolate! Yeah, I love chocolate. So anyway, I went in there and I got some chocolate and I was really happy for the whole week. Tuesday. On Tuesday I went to my local town centre with my mum and we had to go to Iceland to get some food shopping and then I remember one thing happening because there's this show I watch called Birds of a Feather one of the characters is called Tracy, one of them is called Sharon and the thing is, we went to the counter and the cashier was called Sharon and then because we wanted a home delivery there was someone packing our bags and, and her name was Tracy so I pointed it out and because there's another character called Dorian I said, where's Dorian? We had a good laugh about it also we went into Lush and I got two bath bombs, one of them was the Intergalactic, my favourite, and I also got a Big Bang, woo, that is my favourite bath fizzer. And then I went home and because my aunt comes to my house every Tuesday, she came to our house and loads of really funny stuff happened like, I can't remember what it was but my aunt asked my mum to get her something and then my mum said, oh I'm not your slave, then I said, that's right. Mum's not your slave, she's my slave. We found it funny. We were laughing for about five minutes. Wednesday the 17th of February. We went to the local town centre again, only we went in a few different shops. Like we just went out shopping for the day. And also we went into this cafe called Cafe Riviera, which I really like. Um, I usually get chicken nuggets from there and I got chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. Not as much as breadsticks, obviously. Then we went into Argos and they were going to deliver to our house. I can't remember exactly what they were delivering but they said it will be here by the 15th of March. That's nearly a whole month. But considering February is short it doesn't really matter. Thursday the 18th of February. Oh what a great day that was. I've got a lot to say but I'll try to keep it short as possible. One of the first things we did was I had to go to the dentist so my mum and I got a bus to the dentist because my dentist isn't really that close to where I live. And then um, I went in there and it was just a quick check up. And then just as I got out of the chair, they were playing Don't Stop by Five Seconds of Summer. So I literally got out of the chair and then I was dancing. Don't stop doing what you're doing. And I literally shouted at the dentist, This is my favourite band! That was the best dentist appointment ever. And then I went into McDonald's and I have a friend called Chloe who has recently just turned 10 and um, it's it was her birthday on that day. Same as J-Hope from BTS. 
ironic, right? Anyway, we had a McDonald's and it was really nice. And I remember one time, like, some, one thing that happened, sorry, I can't talk today. One thing that happened when we were eating our McDonald's was because there was this woman who came and she was taking care of a baby who was only 11 weeks old. And Chloe is obsessed with babies. So she looks at the baby, she's like, the baby likes me. It was so cute. And then Chloe had a birthday party in this um, play area. And it wasn't just me and her. She has a friend called Lily, who is nine years old. So a bit younger than Chloe. And oh, we had so much fun. And I remember we were playing this really funny game. It was basically a mixture of loads of anime. And the weird thing is, they don't even know what anime is. I just kept mixing in animes. It was, it was mainly Attack on Titan because there were titans and they were young children like two young children about half my age maybe even younger than that they used to and then they came up to us like ah, ah. and the idea to call them titans came from when i shouted ah it's titans they're titans and then we also had power balls which were from the ball pit and we had loads of different colors like my colour was red. Oh yeah, and I've got to tell you something about the red balls from the ball pit soon. Lily's colour was yellow and Chloe's colour was green. And then what I did in the ball pit, we were, all three of us were sitting in the ball pit. I picked up all the red ones, throwing them like this. Red balls! Red! It's red! 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 I love red! Red! And by doing that, I managed to mix some more anime into the game. Yay! And aside from the colours we had, we also had nicknames because we were detectives and then we had like detective nicknames which were literally just random letters. So Chloe was P, Lily was C and I was L. I didn't really mind being L, I like Death Note. And I remember one thing that happened was when we were going up these stair things, I can't remember what they're called, um, I asked them to, so who's the best detective out of us three? And then they both shouted, L at the same time. And I was like, oh, thank you. So hilarious. And also we had this house, which was with, you, you know, like those massive balls that like you lay on, that you can use for yoga and stuff like that. Well, it was full of those and we had to hold them up against the little holes to stop people from breaking into our house and stealing our power balls. And every ball from the ball pit was a power ball apart from the blue ones which were bombs. And basically we had to throw the bombs at the titans to kill them. And I remember one time when I was with Lily and then um, I saw a titan so I threw a blue bomb at it. Well, I don't really throw it at him, like I threw it near him. And then what he did, like, he picked it up and ran off with it and I was like, It's a bomb! You titan! And then when we had to go home, we all high-fived and said, Yeah, we killed the titans! And another really funny thing was, I told Lily to tell her carer what we were doing and then she said, We attacked the titans! That was so epic. That was the second best day of my life. What? December 30th has always been my first. Anyway. Friday the 19th of February. Every Friday, my mum has to take my aunt shopping in Morrison's. Since I was there, and I couldn't go anywhere else, so I had to come with them. My aunt usually has conversations about Boy George and George Michael, basically every celebrity that she likes. A really funny thing that happened was we heard a song from the 80s, and it was a really dancey, upbeat song, and we were the only people in the aisle. And then we started a conga line in the aisle, and then my mum started dancing, so I like pushed her like that. I was like, playfully, not being mean. And then they said, they're watching us on the cameras, they'll think we're a bunch of loonies. So I was there like, I don't care. And guess what happened after that? I went to Sheerness. It was really fun. I even went on the beach there. The best bit of going on the beach was spend ages sitting on a bench eating a chocolate bar and i also remember we went into the tesco's and we spent quite a bit of time there i bought a pink headband pink then something really funny happened on the way back 
Well, it wasn't really funny, but there were these two boys on there, and they were all really weird, like saying, Oh, do you want to commit suicide? Jump out the window of the bus. No. Oh, you're boring. You're no fun. Saturday the 20th of February. That was quite a fun day. First, I went into the town centre with my mum, and then I got a bus to my nan's. A really funny thing that happened was we were watching the children's shows that I used to watch because there was nothing else on TV. I Like, we were watching it. I wasn't really paying attention. She was. But then I really paid attention to... There was this show about, like, this man called Justin, and there was, like, Mr. Tumble and all that. The two kids on there, um, the, there was a girl and a boy. The girl was called Amy, and then the boy was called Sebastian. And then I remember when it was like, and this is Sebastian. I was sitting there. I was literally laughing my head off for, like, ten minutes. I was scared of my nan asking why I was laughing over his name being Sebastian. So I had to think of something. I was say like, uh, 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 Sebastian Co. Mind you, it wasn't Sebastian Co. And then... My nan started calling me Sebastian. Do not forget to watch my video next Sunday on my channel. And do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and... Why do I keep doing that? Bye bye! I'm not a potato anymore. I'm an apple.